Okay. All right, you are gonna, we're only gonna do positive numbers. Can anybody tell me why we're only doing positive numbers? Yes. What did you say, Alan? Your height can't be negative. Yes, your height can't be negative and the length of between the base of your hand and the top of your hand can't be negative. So I'm gonna draw in these, so should you. Now, we're going to write a label down here. I'm going to write height. And then I'm going to write in parentheses inches. So that says height, H-E-I-G-H-T on the bottom. And then inches in parentheses. And then on the left side, it's going to say... Uh, We'll say hand length. And for that one, we're writing centimeters. <clears throat> All right. Now, I'm going to do something, and it's called um, breaking an axis. Have I talked about that with you guys before? No. Okay. So... Why do you think I'm going to choose to break an axis for this data? Because your hands don't start at zero. Yes, your hands don't start at zero. Or, it, I mean, we could start at zero, but if I started at zero, then all of my data would be, like, in the upper right corner, and it would just doesn't make any sense. So everybody watch. You're going to do this, too. Kind of go up, down, and then back, and it looks like this. And you're doing that on the side and on the bottom to show that we're breaking the axis and we're not starting where we would normally start. All right, here are the heights that you guys gave me. What is our shortest person in the room? Okay, we're changing this one to 63. Is 63 our small, shortest? Me too. Well, you're taller than me. It must be by half an inch. Okay, so 63, and who's our tallest? 71? All right, so we're going to go from 63 to 71 on the bottom. So let's see. Let's go by every three. 63, 64. Enough room. 69, 70, 71, 72, Okay, how about the hand length on the y-axis? Looks like we're all very close together. Looks like our lowest is 16 and a half and our highest is 19 and a half. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, so let's start at 16. And I'm going to go every two here, and the next one will be 16 and a half. And then 17. 17 and a half, 18, 18 and a half, 19, 19 and a half. Okay. The first data point is 64, 18. So I'm going to go on 64, and then up to 18, and I'm going to put a dot. Can you say that? Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to run out of the room for a second, because I think that 
what I'm going to do is make a photocopy of all the points for you guys so you don't have to write them down. Does that work? All right, so once again, the first point was sixty four eighteen. As you go through them, you can start crossing them off. There are two things I want to tell you before you start going. Everybody look at me, please. Everybody, look at me. I want you to write a label on top of this that says hand length versus height on top of your graph. And the second thing Do you guys see that we have two points that are exactly the same? On those, this point needs to look bigger than the rest. So make that dot a bigger dot than the rest. Okay? All right. That's it. This is due on Monday.